piece where think fast the added element I say added element you know to more so of a deeper perspective of cigar smoking you can barely see this video but in these cases it's more about the words than the, <laughs> the actual visualization but I think about when smoking a cigar you know for me it allows for a certain meditation of looking at the fire element and how it burns through things and the fire element is connected to spirit you know and you could look at the the cigar itself as the earth element you know uh, you know without that fire because say for instance when you think about it a cigar is sitting there unanimated like a, a cigar is not moving not breathing in that sense you know it's just there until you actually light a flame on it and then the flame actually adds life to that cigar you know so you see the personification on the as above so below level like fire is connected to the masculine energy Again, we're taking action, you know, fire signs, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries, taking action, you know, uh, more masculine energy. Matter of fact, that number one energy in essence, you know, uh, like that self. But again, with, with the aspect of dealing with the cigar, you know, here it is where the cigar is laying, you know, motionless. And when you light that flame to it, you know, it animates it. And then when you're connecting it with yourself, you know, when you start to smoke on And as a disclaimer, of course, like, uh, you know, not suggesting to anybody to smoke cigars or anything, you know, teach his own whatever vibe, you know, that you vibe with. You know, I connect with the cigars, again, on the ancestral level. It's partially due to being an old soul and just, you know, uh, just one of those little props or connections that I deal with from time to time. But, uh, you know, and also, again, with that connection with the Baron Samdi, Babalu Aye, Gede, and and then separately, but but related, uh, Papa Legba energy, you know. But again, in which Papa Legba is seen as that solar phallic light. So, you know, so this is also indirectly breaking down the, the, the Arca, I say the archetypal symbol, but the alchemical symbology behind, you know, the characters of like these Orishas and stuff like that. Because again, like for example, Papa Legba walks with a limp, you know, but it's not just, oh, they just, like somebody just say, hey, we're just going to make this character walk with a limp. No, it's a personification of walking in between the seen and the unseen realm. So, you know, it's a limp because one foot in one realm, one foot in the other realm, you know. Matter of fact, I remember speaking about when I first started my altar and like uh, one of the things, because matter of fact, getting creative with the offerings where it's not said to be an offering, uh, but I gave it anyway as far as slippers. I'm like, well, shit, you know, something tell me if he, he walking, you know, with a limp, you know, through the realms, you know, in which, of course, you would think tennis shoes, but I'm like, nah, let me give him something comfortable, you know. But again, when I say him, you know, again, a personification of an energy that's within me. But... The cigar smoke again, the cigar becomes animated whenever you light it, you know, you light the fire. And it also shows like that earth, fire, and air element, you know, kind of connecting. What do you think about the number eight? Number eight, when you break down the gematria of Jesus, like the name Jesus, it comes out to 888. Excuse me. And that's in connection with, you know, with uh, eight protons, eight electrons, eight neutrons of oxygen, you know, the air, the breath, the ashe, the prana. And matter of fact, when we take that certain, you know, pranic uh, breath, you know, we raise that Christ energy uh, of the spine, you know. So you see that, that, that connection with, you know, the Jesus, you know, uh, again, this is a, uh, the Christ energy was trying to, the Christ energy is real but somebody tried to turn the christ energy into a historical figure named jesus and used the picture of caesar barger to make this figure real but you know again just speaking of the aspect of just the number of value 
that Jesus name break down into, you know, again, just with eight. And then when you think about uh, shoe, you know, and you think about uh, another name for Jesus is uh, Joshua or, or Yeshua, you know, and Yeshua, in, in, in Yeshua, you got Shu. Shu is the god of air and Kemet, you know, uh, Shu uh, in between Newt and Jeb, which uh, the the gods of the uh, the earth and the sky or the firmament in essence, you know, but you see that whole correlation. But again, with, you know, the Papa leg, but smoking the cigar representing that solar phallic energy, you know, and to a certain extent, you know, uh, like a cigar and, and, and stuff like that represents like a, a phallic energy, you know what I'm saying? And it's not to like, oh, well, that's like uh, doing some gay smoking a cigar, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> and again, to each his own on your uh, sexuality. But that's an aspect though, like say, for instance, though, with, with the Hindu pantheon, like in certain aspects when they smoke, you know, the, uh, the herb, or just smoking in general, like if they was to be smoking on something like, you know, like a, a blunt, a joint, or you know what we call these little like rolled up cigarettes, they would smoke it like they do that little situation where they, you know, they put their hands together and they put, let's see if I could try to, but it's like, uh, trying to get under this light, <laughs> but it's like you put your hands together and then they have like the, like, so say, friends, you have the, see how the cigar raised up in my hand instead of, like, poking out, forward is up, and putting your hands, like, cuffing your hands together and, and drawing like that, and you'll be able to pull a smoke like that instead of putting the, because they consider also, like, the phallus is also, you know, connected with the, uh, the Shiva energy, you know, and it's, like, sacred. So, again, you know, you see that connection. Again, this is not, this is real facts, you know what I'm saying? Because again that's where the ego stops a person from diving deeper into information like if you're too immature to to speak on information because oh you know i don't want to talk about that like put my mouth on something that's shaped like a feather so i mean no look it is what it is because too that's what society you know it's for better or worse you got certain aspects that yeah you know uh for the most part, Rome promoted to promote, you know, homosexual behavior in society. But then there are certain aspects that just are, you know, even outside of that agenda, you know, where it may seem like, again, like the smoking of a cigar in essence, you know, but, uh, but which we did, you know, always did like use like, a not necessarily cigars but like we always did it natural like we had like some type of chalice or something like that you know but that that is a fact you know but again that's a representation of that connection with uh papa leg but again the uh the fire itself representing the spirit you know and that, and that's that uh <laughs> as that uh as that fire, you know, lights that cigar and animates that cigar, brings that cigar to life. And then also a personification, you know, as you light that cigar, though, as it comes to life, is also constantly dying as it's living. You know, the paradox of our existence, you know, that that whole story being to told just in the cigar, like just in, you know, lighting a cigar and pulling on it, you get you get the uh how can i say the cosmology of your existence and your being you know basically like the breakdown of you know how our existence is through our spirit you know because again we come down here to actually live we come down here to let our fire burn in such a manner where when we transition we're not feeling like uh oh man i, I should have did that i should have that like the object of being down here, you know, one of the objects, of course, because it's multi multiple layers to our, you know, because, yeah, it's multiple layers. But anyway, <laughs> uh, a lot of that has to do with us, you know, with our being. It, it has to do with, you know, letting our fire burn, being the star that we are, you know what I'm saying? That's why, again, Hollywood has that set up because they know we are stars. We are the universe and the human experience. And they know that we're going to want to shine in some way, form or fashion. So they got 
Hollywood set up, you know, and remember how I talked about like how Hollywood indirectly is like astrology. And I say Hollywood, but like say fence is like news, like the media, because the media stands for medium, you know, and people who like deal with astrology are like pull tarot cards are known as like psychic mediums, you know what I'm saying? And the media is like a medium because here it is, they point out the movement of the stars. You know, like, hey, I, we spotted so-and-so at Starbucks on Sunset and, and Vine. <laughs> we, we spotted so-and-so, you know what I'm saying? It's like mapping the stars, you know. Uh, but but you see that, that correlation again when you light the cigar. It, of course, it brings life to that cigar. But, you know, as we live in, you know, like, for example, like what somebody might say, oh, well, with uh, shot blessings to the... Uh, to the elder, the brethren, Bobby Hemet, you know, like, oh, Bobby Hemet caught a stroke, this and that, he must have not been following, uh, you know, information. Bobby Hemet came down here, you know, like all of us, you know, we are a unique soul on our mission. I bet you, you know, again, when you look at uh, Bobby Hemet's existence, you can't point it and say it's the same as somebody else's, you know, because the brethren, you know, uh, and still here, came down here with his purpose. He like when you see how many how many three to four hour lectures you know this brethren got out then you would probably you know back off of that notion you know what i'm saying when you see that you know he been putting in the work you know what i'm saying doing what it is you know what i'm saying again you could come down here as a little cigar that's just sitting down as a cigar and not light you know and of course of, of course you know when you like that cigar it's gonna constantly smoke and dwindle but again that's part of you know existing and coming through through this little realm of existence you know to be to basically like source putting putting its name up on the wall like source was here you know, you're going to the bathroom at the high school and this and that and <laughs> had a little signs so and so was here that's basically you know this is just a, a realm of existence that we're passing through Again, all, all, all those aspects just <laughs> within the simple aspect of smoking a cigar, you know. Fireworks got the, <laughs> the dogs cutting up. And matter of fact, and as I'm speaking on that, like the fireworks having the dogs cutting up. Which the fi fireworks is not so much of a perfect example, because say for instance, fireworks you know on a human level we could hear fireworks just like dogs but on another level though dogs hearing is a little more keen so they hear it on a whole another level so all that popping and shit is kind of you know a little bit louder to them in essence you know because they could hear like a higher higher tone frequencies you know that's why in movies you know the 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 pets or the little kid is the first one to sense the ghost or that energy, you know. And what's ironic is, uh, uh, you know, like a, in a paradoxical manner, or oxymoronic, I always get those all mixed up. But anyway, like you would consider a dog a lower life form in essence, but yet it's tapped into picking up on high frequencies just, just as much as a human. As much as a human walking around thinking, dumb dog, they just uh, don't know what to do, they depend on me, this and that. Shit, that dog got the ability to, you know, hear those, uh, or connect with those frequencies in essence. And, and, and what I wanted to go with that is like basically the example of two, like on a, on a level where, you know, like right, right now, where there's awakening going on, you know, the great old ones, you know, that the internal source within is awakening within us, you know, and, uh, some of us are able to, you know, hear and connect with, with, you know, I gotta say with the energies because again we interfacing with energies the best example i use is like well say for instance like with my chakras if i if i press the button or like if i poke at my my heart chakra so i take my finger and press on my heart chakra and then an image come from out of my heart chakra and then stands up in front of me and personifies itself you know so basically like i press a button on my heart chakra and then a, a holographic green image image uh it's projected from out of my heart chakra as this being and it starts talking to me you know that that doesn't mean that 
that being is outside of me just because I'm, you know, externalizing that conversation, you know, that, that, that heart chakra energy is still within me. Again, that it's being projected from inside of me. I'm just have interfacing with it on the external level, but it is still, uh, and again, when I say interfacing with it on the external level, it is in essence internal, you know what I'm saying? Again, but you know, uh, interfacing with it you know in our physical realm you know in essence but uh again think about the dogs being able to hear those sounds as like psychic people you know like how a psychic person or somebody who's sensitive to energy like an impact you know like feels energy and could be like rrr, 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 or like you know i'm feeling it and, and, and nobody else is you know what i'm saying because they you know not really uh tapped into that you know to that level of picking up on those energies because again everybody has the ability to tap into these energies that's the big lie too is like that uh nobody's capable of being that psychic or this and that no like the fact is everybody is you just got to open your pineal gland and matter of fact i gotta start doing i gotta maybe do one or two videos again on that because i'm starting to see the importance of you know keeping that in mind as well like when you open your pineal gland that that opens up the door to where it's almost like when you open your pineal gland like with that video i did like what well, reasons why you shouldn't open your pineal gland like where well, i was being like a you know facetious in a little sarcastic way you know about you know reasons why not because once you open it you can't go back like you know once you your, your pineal open and, and you 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 reach a higher level of consciousness, you know. And you look at a football game, and you look at the ESPN commentary, and you just start to see the, like the, the, how can I say the blueprint of slavery, but just in the form of sports. You know, it's like it's hard for you to still watch that and be like a blind, you know, like oh I'm going for the Chiefs today and this and that, and I'm going, like when you open up your pioneer that, that's no longer you no longer able to just sit around and you know drink a beer and not knocking the people who do but you know go about life as if you know as if they're still like going about life as if you uh you know mastered your chakras or know all about yourself or like as if you still don't have questions unanswered you know what i'm saying like when you open your pioneer gland that, you know, again, you're no longer able to just ri run away or hide from your spirit. You know, no longer able to just ignore, you know, the obvious ignorance that's going on in the world, you know. But that's a whole nother thing. But, <laughs> but again, just how the cigar smoke itself, you know, personifies, you know, life. The spirit coming into the body. That flame. But that's basically it. <laughs> Peace. Happy now. Now's the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future, not going too far in the past. Remember uh to like and subscribe, you know, uh also hit the little bell reminder button, you know, so you could catch the, uh, so you could get notifications that when I drop new videos, it'll be, you know, uh, you'll be notified on your YouTube channel. Uh, any and all donations greatly appreciate it. And, uh, and, and don't forget, uh, on Instagram, uh, my Instagram page, Universal Frequencies, definitely check out my page. Uh, definitely have like cool little, you know, little insights and memes there and stuff like that. And that's basically it. <laughs> but peace again. Happy now. Now's a vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. <laughs>